Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create curved text designs in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new, give your page a title. You can name this whatever you want. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. Here we want to build our design from scratch, so I'm going to click on build from scratch. Next, we're going to add our column structure. So in this case, we're going to need a single column, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now, before we add our modules, let's add a background color to our section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background. So here we're going to add a gradient. So I'm going to click on the second tab, click this plus button, and we're going to add our first color. So I'm just going to paste my color in here. And then I'm going to go and paste my second color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to this post in the show notes below where you can copy all the CSS code, the colors, and everything that you need. All right, so that's my second color right there. The next thing I'm going to do is to change my gradient type. So I'm going to come over here and set it to radial. Next, we're going to come over here to this image tab and add an image. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So the image that we want to add here is a very small image, preferably a logo, 100 by 100 pixels. So I'm just going to go through here and see if I can just use any sort of icon on this design. But you can also use a logo, as I mentioned. Okay, so let me see if I can find something that we can use. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one here. So I'm going to select it, click upload an image. Now you can see here it's very pixelated. So what you want to do is to come over here and make sure it's set to actual size. So now you can see now it looks much, much better. Now let's save this and go into our row settings. So I'm going to click here on this row settings icon, click on design, sizing. And the first thing you want to do is to set our gutter width. So I'm going to click here and drag it all the way to one. Our width needs to be 100%. So I'm just going to drag this and make it 100%. Now I'm going to set my minimum height. So I'm just going to come over here and set my minimum height to 400 pixels. And the height here needs to be set to 40 VW. And then finally, my maximum height needs to be set to 600 pixels. Now let's head over here to our spacing. So what we want to do here is to add zero to the top and bottom padding. And then I'm going to come over here and add some CSS. Now, as I mentioned before, the CSS can be found in the link that I'll provide in the show notes below. So what we want to do here is to add our CSS to the main element. So I'm going to paste it here like that. Now it's time to create the text modules for each letter. So I'm going to click here on save. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add my text module. So I'm going to select it. And over here, I'm going to add my first letter, which is D. Now we need to customize this. So first of all, I'm going to click here on the design tab, change this fonts to from default to Ubuntu. In fact, we need Ubuntu mono. Now we need to change the text color because as you can see here, we have a duck background and our text here is not very easy to read. So I'm going to change this to white. And then we're going to make the size slightly bigger. Set this to 5VW. And then for the text orientation, we're going to set this to the center. But now we need to go to the uh, settings as well. So I'm going to click here on sizing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set the minimum height. So I'm going to set this to 200 pixels. And our height needs to be 20VW. And then over here for the maximum height, I'm going to set this to 300 pixels. Now we need to go to the transform origin. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on transform. And then I'm going to come over here to the last tab. And this is the transform origin. So we want to make sure that we set our point here to the one on the bottom like that. Next, we need to add our custom CSS to the main element. So I'm going to come over here on advanced custom CSS. And then I'm going to add my CSS code. So what we need to do next now is to create the rest of the letters. So I'm just going to save here. And to make things easier for me, I'm going to come over here to expand settings, click on the wireframe mode, and then I'm just going to duplicate them here. So I'm going to do this a few times. All right, so the next thing I need to do now is to click here on this gear icon to go into the settings, design, and then we're going to come over here to transform, and then transform rotate. 
So here is where we need to add our degree and we are going to do this on the Z axis and we are going to set this to 45 degrees. We're gonna save that, move on to the next one. And now the letter here is going to be V, click on design, transform. Again, we're gonna come on transformation, transform rotate, set this to 90 degrees, save that, move on to the fourth one. The letter here is going to be I, design, transform, transform rotate. And this time we're gonna set this to 135. We're gonna save that, move on to the next one. And this one here is going to be D, click on design, transform, and we're gonna set this to 180 degrees. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to just label these. So this one here is D, this one here is I, so this is just that it makes it easier for you to find out where you are because if all these look the same, it's going to be very difficult to, to locate which, where, which one you're working on. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and the next letter here is going to be I. I'm going to click on Design, Transform. And this time, this one is going to be 225. I'm going to save that, move on to the next one. This one here is going to be V. Now, I'm adding all these letters here, but of course, in your case, you can you, you can have these letters say whatever you want. Okay, so next I'm going to click on Transform. Transform, Rotate. Now, this one here is going to be 270. Let's save that. Let's update it. Move on to the next one. This one's going to be I again. Click on Design. Now, this one here is going to be 315. So I'm going to go ahead and update it. Save that. So this one here, we don't need. I'm just going to go and delete that. Okay, so now that we've added all our letters, we've added all our angles in degrees, let's take a look at how this design looks now. So I'm going to click here on this front end view. And now you can see we have this circular design, which is fantastic. Now, let's say you want to go in and change the angles. All you have to do is to go in and play around with the degrees because right now we've had it in such a way that... Um, they are following a certain pattern, so you can always go and change that based on the degrees you want to add on there. But before we do that, let me show you how you can change the size of all these letters. So let's go back to our wireframe mode. So what you want to do is to hold down the command key and then click. So what we're doing here is called multi-select. So as you can see here, I'm selecting all these. So now they're all selected. So what you want to do is to click on any of these gear icons here. And now you can go and change your sizes. So I'm going to come over here to design text. So currently we are set here at 5VW. So we can just go in and change this to maybe say 40 pixels. And because we're doing multi-select here, everything is going to be updated all at the same time. So if we save that and uh, go to the front end, you can see here that the letters have become a bit smaller. All right, so let's do one more design where we're using the letters, elegant themes, and show you how you can do this and uh, also change the uh, transform on the X axis. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and replace what we have right now with all our text. And in fact, you know what? I need to save this. So I'm going to uh, come over here and duplicate this section and then start on a brand new one. So we're going to start here on um, on this one. So I'm gonna go back to my wireframe view as I did before. So what we're gonna do now is to duplicate a few more times here and we're going to have a full word which says elegant themes. So let's start by starting here. We're gonna come over here and add our letters, save that to the next one. So what you wanna do is to spell the whole word, uh, word elegant themes and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So once you've added all your letters until you until they spell elegant themes, what you want to do is to go into each and every one of these and add the degrees in 10 degrees intervals. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here to module settings, design, transform. So here we're going to start with zero degrees. Okay, so the next one needs to be 10 degrees. So I'm going to come over here again to the settings, design, transform. And then we're going to set this to 10 degrees. We're going to save that. Now the next one is going to be 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and so on until you've completed all the letters. So that's what you need to do next. All right, so now that I've added all my degrees, so the next thing we need to do now is to just take a quick look and see what the design looks like. So I'm going to click here on Desktop View. And as you can see here, we have this beautiful shape. 
Now, we are not uh, pretty much happy with this because uh, it's on the side. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how to rotate this and uh, have it, you know, whichever, you, whichever way you want. So to do that, we're going to come over here into our row settings, design, transformation, and then we're going to come to rotate. So this is where now you can drag this and set it up however you want. So if you want it like that at 290, for example, this could be maybe where you want it to be, but of course you can play around with this and this can go pretty much all the way around. So what I'm gonna do here is to just leave this in the middle. So I'm just gonna set it like that on 297 and then save. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.